Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to the Dustin Dean channel. I am Dustin Dean and uh, today we are battling CPS. I'll just give you a quick recap of what went on and uh, you guys can watch the show. So what happened was is um, first thing this morning I got a phone call from DCFS says that they have the report of the audio that I requested but they're not giving me the audio. They will only give me a transcript of the audio audio so it's basically the same thing but completely different rewritten what I believed to make them look good um, I don't trust it at all so that's a whole different issue and then she says that um, I cannot record uh, it when I go to pick that this uh, transcript up which I felt like that's wrong um, it's a uh, public owned building and I can record in the public lo lobby and there's no signs that says I can't record and so I feel like I can record but before I record I'm gonna go make sure that I don't get in trouble and so I went to talk to the sheriff I was heading so I was heading to the sheriff to the department and um, this part I did not get on film and I wish I had I saw him at the at the gas station I stopped I jumped out of my car I walked up to him I'm like I'm like hey um, this is going on you know, I have right to film in the building. He says, no, you don't. You don't have the right to film inside that public building if they don't want you to. I'm like, well, okay. Um, but for B-roll shots, I can, surely I can stand out in the, in the um, public easement and, uh, and take pictures of the building. He says, no. If they don't want you to take pictures of the building, even on public, off their property, you cannot take pictures of the building. That scared me. That I'll, I'll be honest with you. That scares the hell out of me to think that um, that they don't know the the Constitution. That he's so um, ignorant of the Constitution that uh, so that just frightens me. So I decided to um, to go talk to an attorney. Go and talk to an attorney. The attorney says, uh, "Yeah, I have that right, but here's what's going to happen. He knows living in a small community like this, what's going to happen." They're going to come, they're going to arrest me, they're going to throw me in jail, they're going to harass me, and they'll definitely retaliate, and DCF will definitely retaliate. How far do I want to take this? He says, you can fight and win, but it's going to cost you $25,000 to fight to win. I don't have $25,000 to fight them, and so I, so that was pretty much his advice. So I thought, okay, um, I, I'm not going to go in there and not record. So I'm, I'm, there's no way I'm going to go down there and not record. So I thought, here's another idea. I went and got the Richfield Police Department and um, requested that they come in there and that way we recorded. And so we have that all on, on recording. So that's kind of a... Uh, what's your thoughts on this, guys? I'd like to hear from you. And back to the transcript. Ah, it's such a joke. It's, it's very very thin, hardly a few things. It's not even worth reading out. I think the lawyer says I can't read it to you because it, um, you'd have to uh, grandma request it yourself or FOIL request it, whatever uh, term you're going to use. But um, it's, just, it's just BS. I don't trust anything in it and it's only half the conversation. I know my son's already uh, told me it's half the conversation and uh, so it's, it's already been it's, it's rewritten. It's junk. It's junk to me. So guys, enjoy this. Uh, show me your support by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. It helps out a lot. Just that's enough. Okay guys, so uh, enjoy the video and um, we'll see you in the next one. say no recording? Nope. We'll look at the site before we do that. Does it say anywhere about no recording? <whistles> Doesn't say anything about recording? No. Just says no smoking. Who's talking to the sheriff's department? Yeah. I have a question I'd like to talk to a deputy. Okay, have you called dispatch? Uh, no, I just figured I'd talk to a sheriff. Nate, our sheriff's Who, Nate Curtis? Yeah. Okay. Um, I have a message where I can call you, set up a time to meet. Well, I'd also like to talk to um, um, Alan Pearson. Okay. 
And he's he's a, a guy I've been working with about a case. Okay, let me go see if he's even back here. Okay, thank you. Is, is, I was wanting to know like what my rights are as filming in public buildings. Would any officer work? Um, probably. Okay. I think most officers should be familiar with this. With the Constitution? So, okay. So, well, how, how do, do I call dispatch for that? Or? Yeah. Do you have that number? I don't. Thank you for being a professional. Thank you. Thank you. Okay guys, so we're kind of getting the run around today. So, um, recap, I did not get this on film, but I talked to the sheriff and he says that I can't film in the DCFS building or outside the building, even if I'm standing outside the road, I can't film at all. So I feel like that's wrong and against the Constitution, or against our Constitution right, against the First Amendment. So um, I'm, gonna, I'm over here at the, at the city um, police department and I want to see if if any of them knows the laws and I'd like to a police escort into getting the report so that way that'll protect me from tyrants um, sheriff tyrants so let's go ask the police and I'll you what my plan is is I'm just gonna take this camera here and uh, so it's less threatening because it seems like a lot of people are afraid of cameras I'll just have my wife just film going like this we've established that much um, there it is, Frisco City Place. I think it sickens me how law enforcement doesn't know our rights as citizens, what rights we have. Well, we'll see if these guys know their rights. Are you? Good, how are you? Oh, I was just wanted to talk to like a police officer. Okay, what's up? Oh, just I want to go into a building and get some um, um, papers and I just want to make sure for my protection of what is I Is it here in Richville? Yes, it is. Okay, so a keep the peace on a civil? Yeah. Okay, all right. I'll keep Hold the peace. Let me see who I've got here. Is that why they call them peace officers? Well, I guess so. <laughs> keep the peace. Hey, can you send one of the guys back to the office for a keep the peace? <laughs> and it's here in Richville. Yes, it is. Uh, yes, it's in Richville. Okay. Yeah, the, sub the subjects are here in the office. Okay. The subjects. All right, hey, see ya. Bye. Okay, have a seat and he'll be right here. Okay. Lake County. Look at this. This is kind of cool. Oh, that's cute. Man against crime. Kind of a kind of solvent. What was it? Chauvinist. Chauvinist. Man against crime. Yeah, that's funny. I'm not gonna say anything. I have a lot of upset women. <laughs> Good. How are you doing? Good. 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 You guys here for me? Uh, yes, so what are we doing? So what it, what it is, is, is I want to pick up some papers at the DCFS building. I'm kind of having issues with them. Okay. I don't think they like me very well. Okay. They told me that um, I can't film in the building. And I've looked up the laws and you can film in public public buildings at the public building. Okay. And so you have the lobby of the building. I understand there's places that are, you know, you can't film like courtrooms and mm -hmm. I'm sure I can't film in your jails and things like that. But I can film in the public lobbies. And especially if they're not posted, no filming. So I think they're just being mean and telling me I can't film. So if they're not going to allow me to film, then I, I at least want for my protection somebody because I, I feel like they they uh, I feel like they're not very honest people. And, and I really want to film for my own for own protection, just like I'm filming right now. So what are you trying to pick up? Um, pick up some uh, transcripts of uh, that I grandma requested that they have um, waiting for me, okay. but um, I don't want to pick them up until because I, I I'm hoping that. You know, we have the First Amendment, the right to film, and things like that. Okay. 
So do they have the paperwork though? Do they have everything you're looking for? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've already spoke with them. I, I spoke with them on the phone, but I don't want to. I don't want to speak with them off record of camera. So I will want to film. So what I want to do is I want to film, and what they're going to probably try to do is is try to call the cops. And so I just want on record that I'm obeying the law and I'm not there to start anything. I'm just going to go there, give my ID, get the papers, get out. But I I don't want to break the law. Okay. Well, I don't know what the rules are, so I guess if they ask you not to film, I'd probably say I wouldn't film it. We'll be there and do a keep the peace for you. Yeah. And kind of get that stuff. We need to call them when we're coming so we can get your stuff. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Let me get you. They have the right to take my children. Anytime that somebody has that much power over them, I want to film every ounce of them. I just don't trust them, especially when it comes to my children. Okay. So, who are we speaking to over there? I have no idea. The office worker. I think I said her name's Jeanette. Uh, Jeanette, possibly. Yeah. So I, I just want to, you know, pick them up and get out. But I don't want to be cornered in or, or, or lectured. One time I went there, I went without a camera, and they mm -hmm. brought me in a room, and, and they just gave me a, so, a, a real butt chewing. Okay. So that's up to you if you're going to talk to them or whatever you do. So, but that's what I'm trying to figure out. Have you already contacted them for the? To make sure they have what you're requesting? Right. Yeah, they contacted me today, said I have it, I can pick it up, but I can't film. And I feel like that's okay. very sketchy. Okay. Well, whatever the rules are going to be, I'm not the one to say it's not. That's their thing, so we'll go do it. And we'll see what they say. Okay. All right. Thank we'll you. We'll over there with you. All right. Well, so how's this work? I just beat I just you over there. Okay. Okay. I think that, I think that went really well. Um, we're going to go in there. We're going to try to film. Hopefully, uh, having the police officer there, um, I I kind of I kind of feel like nobody knows our First Amendment around here, um, saying that if they request not to film, then I have to obey and, and not film. So I'll do that. I'll comply. I just want to. Uh, I just I just don't want to. Um, DCFS scares me, especially when it comes to your children. I don't trust them as far as I can throw them. Okay, so now we're at the DCFS building. We're going to get the. Uh, the transcripts of the audio which I find highly suspicious that they won't give me the audio so we're waiting for the Richfield Police Department to come in and keep the peace um, I'm I've requested them for for my protection so that they these guys don't try to um, um, intimidate me so um, here they are they're uh, they're just showing up right now so oh we get two of them two officers so that's pretty cool Sweet. So again, it's for my protection. I just don't trust. Yeah. Well, my understanding is, is that this is the problem we have. This is public property. The building's publicly owned. Let them know you're here. Good. Here they'll keep the peace. Some individual wanted to pick up some paper. Dustin Dean. Dustin Dean. Do you know who you're picking it up from? From here. I, I mean, what's the paperwork? Uh, it's uh, grandma requested of the audio of my 12 year old being detained from from the school. Oh, okay. Let me see on the CPS. I guess I'm credit card. I'm right nervous. Hey. I'm getting my credit card. <laughs> Here's my ID. <laughs> <laughs> All I need is for him to sign this. Okay. And I'll go make a copy. Thank you. What's your name? Could have been a Maverick card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's better than a Maverick card is I don't have a pen. But as um, AAA, AAA, you get like four cents off per gallon. There you go. Hey, anything that anything that helps.
Do I need to sign this one too? What's this one? Yeah. So I filled this one out. Yeah. And then I put my name. Oh, it says. Uh, I don't fill it just right here, huh? Signature. Mm hmm. Okay. It was 122-2019. Yeah. Okay. There you go, sir. Okay. And just for the record, what's your name? Uh, Miss Janet. I've got my name's right there. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Miss Janet. Thank you. All right. You have a good day. Okay. Well, I feel good about that. Would you have a second? And then cut for you for All right. Are we good? Yep. Hey, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. So I felt really good about that. I felt um, I felt like having the police officers there de-escalated the situation, just having their presence. So.